I think this gotta be one of my favorite items that I ordered today. My finger looking good. Hey guys, welcome back to Lifestyle of the Plebe and Nameless. I'm Joan. And I'm Coco. We're here at Arby's today. Because Joan's never been to Arby's before. Yes, it's my first time and I want to try their classic menu items. Why have you never been to Arby's before? It's just not as popular as like Chick-fil-A or McDonald's. <laughs> I'm just not into it. But I think she's going to get into it after she tries it today. If it's your first time here, be sure to hit that subscribe button and join our channel. We do lots of food reviews and food tastings. Let's get tasting! Can I get the classic roast beef sandwich with curly fries? Anything else for you? Um, can I get a smoked brisket sandwich? That'd be all. Uh, also need a classic crispy chicken sandwich. Anything else? The classic French dip. Anything else? The Greek gyro. Would that be all? Uh, also need apple turnover and mozzarella sticks. Would that be all? Yes, ma'am. Pay hey, so forty-one twenty-five. Thank you. She's like, you're finally done yet. <laughs> <laughs> she was. Would that be all? Is that it? <laughs> this is the first time I ever ordered this much food. Two bags. Oh my. All right. First things first. We're gonna try the Jamocha shake. What is Jamocha? It's like mocha, but chamocha. Is it from Jamaica? No. <laughs> That's what I first thought whenever I heard the word jamocha. Mm. It's thick. It's a shake. Mm. It's vanilla-y. A little bit of chocolatiness, but not too much. Overall, it's mainly vanilla. It's so good. It brings the classic vanilla shake up a notch. Ooh, now I taste the chocolatiness. Like it comes a little bit afterwards, I feel. And I love how they put the whipped cream and the chocolate drizzle on top. It just looks so delicious. It's so smooth. I told her it's one of the must-get items mm -hmm. here. Because that's what I ate growing up. Jamocha sheets when I come to Arby's. I like it. I would recommend this. Another thing that Coco said I must try is these curly fries. I mean, who doesn't agree with me? You gotta try their curly fries when you come to Arby's. From first glance, they look very crispy. Like the battering kind of reminds me of Popeye's fries. Because it's got that orange shaded color. Mm. It's super crispy. So good. I love the seasoning they use. It's like Popeye's fries, except it's curly. I think it being curly just makes it so much fun to eat. I was gonna get the ketchup packets, but I don't think I need it. Alright. I'm just like grabbing. Like. <laughs> what are you doing? I'm just eating it, so like you're holding it. I'm really hungry right now. Okay. <laughs> Let's try one of those sandwiches. So next, we're gonna try the roast beef sandwich. This is the Arby's Classic, and it comes in a toasted sesame bun, and it's just roast beef in it. We researched a little bit, and this was one of their top must-get items. I mean, I told her it's one of the must-get items. This is a classic. When you think of Arby's, this is what you think of, a classic roast beef sandwich. It doesn't have anything else in there, though. It's just roast beef in a bun. And yeah, they have Arby sauce. Oh, yeah. Found it. Arby sauce. So much roast beef in there. I'm gonna taste it without the sauce first. The bun is super soft. I can taste like a little bit of smokiness from the roast beef. Super thin slices. It smells like barbecue sauce. Like ketchup barbecue. Mm. I love it with the Arby sauce. It just adds an extra barbecue-ness to it. I think I prefer it without the sauce, honestly. I feel like the sauce for me is a little bit too sharp. I just like how really thin they slice the roast beef. I don't know, I can't stop eating it. But what do you think overall? I think it's a pretty like decent roast beef sandwich. Like I wouldn't say it's like out of my world or out of my mind, like it's satisfactory. I think roast beef sandwiches are a good alternative to hamburgers. Those hamburgers are always so greasy. These, so healthy. Like, if I'm craving for a roast beef sandwich, I'd probably go to Arby's drive through and get one. I like how it's, like, not dry, you know? Mm-hmm. The shake is really good. <laughs> Alright, the next thing that I'm gonna try is the mozzarella cheese sticks. I love mozzarella cheese sticks. Anywhere I go, I have to order them. And it comes with marinara sauce. They're so chubby. It has, like, a thick battering in it. Mm. 
These are so good. I, mean, I like that the batter is seasoned with Italian seasoning. And the batter is really crispy. Mm -hmm. And like a light crunch. And there's so much cheese in there. These are delicious. They're way better than the Sonic cheesesteaks. No, you can't say that. It is! It's so good! These are good, but I take Sonic ones over these any day. Why? They're my favorite! The Why? Sonic what makes ones them are my favorite! What makes them better? They're like seasoned perfectly. So are these. But this one has like too much seasoning for me. What? Okay. She likes her food bland. The Sonic ones are just special to me. They're they bland. Have, they have a special place in my heart. I say go for the RB ones. Now, if Sonic's closed, I'll go to the RBs. <laughs> the next thing that we're gonna try is a French dip sandwich. It just looks like a roast beef sandwich again, but on a like a sub bun. Oh, it does have some cheese. See, it's not just like the roast beef sandwich at all. It's totally different. And look at the amount of roast beef that's in there, guys. That's like two inches thick of roast beef. That's amazing. It comes with this sauce. This is a big container of flavor. No, it says a container of big flavor. Okay, sorry. <laughs> it's liquidy. Yeah, it's au jus. I thought it was going to be like a little bit thicker. No, au jus is like a thin broth. So good. Mmm. Mm. That is really good. I like this better than the regular roast beef. I like the au jus. The au jus? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. It moistens it up a lot. It makes the sandwich so super juicy. Mm. And I like the little bit of cheesiness that they add onto it. Mm -hmm. I'll get this next time for sure. I think the French dip is such a classic sandwich. They're always pricier at, you know, other restaurants, but cheap here are you get your french dip all right next thing we're gonna try is the crispy chicken sandwich i was like why are you getting a chicken sandwich at arby's <laughs> she insisted i always get crispy chicken sandwiches anywhere i go just to see how they taste so i'm just a crispy chicken sandwich girl big piece of chicken patty with the sauce and it's also got uh, tomatoes and lettuce it's nice. got some accoutrements and the bun's kind of cute mm. it had that slit on top it's like a hot cross bun <laughs> mm. The batter is really good. Crispy, crunchy chicken. Not anything too out of the world. I prefer their roast beef offerings. What I'm really scared about chicken sandwiches is if it's fried super dry. And this one's not dry. And they were very generous with their sauce. <laughs> you know, it's <laughs> dripping. I put this as like an average item. Mm -hmm. The next thing that we're gonna try is their brisket sandwich. Mm, it smells very smoky and barbecuey, like a reddish roast beef. It's a brisket. So what's the difference? Brisket is a totally different cut. Oh, brisket means a cut of meat. I didn't know that. Yes. Sorry, I'm uneducated, guys. I'm trying to educate her. Hmm. It's a very good barbecue sandwich. I've never had brisket this thinly sliced before. Because most of the brisket that I know is like pretty chunky. I wouldn't think you can get this quality of brisket sandwich at a fast food restaurant. This is like real restaurant quality. I love the onions that come on it. It has like a really nice balance of sharp and like fresh crunchy sweetness to it. The barbecue sauce? It's like the sweet barbecue sauce, so I like that. The honey barbecue. I think this gotta be one of my favorite items that I ordered today. It's finger looking good. Very saucy. If you come to Arby's, definitely try the brisket sandwich. It's so good. And bring lots of napkins. It's just Joan. It's not that bad. She's making it look like it's a mess. The next item that we got was the Greek gyro. And I ordered this because it's surprising. Like, I wouldn't expect a sandwich place to sell Greek gyro. I mean, like a American sandwich place to sell Greek gyro. Hero. Let's try it. Oh, it's in a pita wrapping. Mm -hmm. Okay. I was expecting it in a bun. <laughs> really? Yeah, I had no idea they put it in a wrapper. Let's take a first bite. I don't know how to describe this. Let me try it. Why is she speechless? 
To me, it's not really gyro. I don't taste all the traditional like Mediterranean spices they use in a gyro. There are spices in here, but I feel like they're not in harmony. Like something's off. The meat doesn't feel like gyro meat. No. It's very flowery. Like there might be some meat in there, but they added like a whole bunch of like flour and then rolled it up and cut it. That's how it feels like to me. And the tzatziki sauce, it doesn't taste that good either. It's very mayo-y to me. Mm -hmm. Just save your time. Don't order this. I was wondering why she wanted to order gyro at Arby's. I just wanted to try. <laughs> but now we know. I didn't need to know. I'm saving it for my little brother later. Good luck, Kevin. <laughs> we finally got to the dessert. Apple turnover. It is a must get at Arby's. I love their apple turnovers. So is it like an apple pie? Mm -hmm. Just fold it over. And it's got like this white glaze on it. So it's just like an apple pastry. The flaky dough. Puff pastry. White glaze with the apple filling. It smells very sweet. It's a dessert. Mm. You can see the apple filling inside. I used to eat this all the time as a child. This is really good. I like it better than McDonald's apple pie. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah, this is way, way better. better. I just love how flaky it is. Like, you can see all of the layers in here. And to me, it's not as sweet as the McDonald's one. After you take a bite of it, like you're not scared of it. The sweetness is not overpowering. Oh, there's even like a little piece of apple in here. I have lots of little pieces of apple in here. Yeah, you got most of it. I only got the sauce. Oh, <laughs> sorry. <laughs> I would definitely get this again. Yeah. We're so full right now. <sighs> oh my god. Joan orders so much. Again. And we managed to eat most of it, which is really good. Honestly, all of these items kind of took me by surprise because I haven't heard like a lot of like extravagant feedback from Arby's, you know? They're kind of just like, ah, oh, it's kind of eh. That's not eh. <laughs> I love Arby's. Like, especially the brisket sandwich that one's got to be my favorite the next one is the french dip with the au jus mm -hmm. that one's really good too and oh my gosh the apple turnover was amazing and of course the jamoka shake <laughs> definitely skip the euro yeah i saved your time on that one and the chicken sandwich is just eh. it's i mean average i would get it again if i'm here if you enjoyed watching this video please give us a thumbs up Hit that subscribe button to follow us for more food adventures. And don't forget to ring that notification bell so you get all of the updates from our channel. You can find us on Instagram at Pleba Nameless. Oh, and TikTok. We have lots of exclusive content for you there. Thanks for watching. See you guys next time on Lifestyle, Lifestyle of the Pleba Nameless. Bye! Bye.